Hello and welcome to my channel Molly Pope Art or if you're already a subscriber welcome back. This is a sweet doodle art uh, for Valentine's Day. It would be a wonderful handmade Valentine card for someone that you love or to hang on your walls for a colorful addition to your home. I made this heart for my adult art class that I teach. The overall design is six inches high by six inches wide. I had some students um, paint the design on white paper, but it, some used black paper and it was gorgeous. So um, I will include a link in the description to my Pinterest page and you can download the images. So that image shows the overall design and there's also a how-to on how to do the flowers and the leaves so i hope you try it i would say this is a beginner level um, and it's just a really fun cute little doodle heart valentine's day design so the paint colors that i used for the red and the orange flowers are i used cadmium red to base all of the petals and for the center of the flowers um, and I also then used, uh, so it was the cadmium red um, was the entire base. And then I gradually added mix into that, oh, excuse me, a pink into that mix by just adding a little bit of white to the red. And the petals around the edges get brighter and lighter. So for the orange petals, um, that was a mixture of cadmium yellow, um, cadmium red, and a little bit of white added to that, especially you'll just repeat that same process that you use to paint the red petals. The middle of the flower, which looks pretty dark on the video, is actually a blue. It's a really deep, pretty blue. And you'll just gradually do some washes um, on that, those petals and build up the layers gradually. No matter what paint I use, uh, as far as acrylics go, I usually have to add a couple of layers. And the first layer, you'll start out, you'll just adding washes to your petals or whatever you're painting and let the, let the first layer dry down and then you'll just continue adding more and more paint over the top until you get the effect that you like. So again, these larger flowers, um, they're directly opposite each other. I place them, one is the upper left-hand corner and one is, the design is at the lower right-hand corner. So again, just base your petals with a cadmium red and gradually begin adding some white to that mix so that the petal appears to have some dimension and the petals get lighter towards the tip of the petals. And again, base that middle of the petal, the center of, excuse me, the middle of the flower in the very center with red. And um, this very direct center of that middle of the flower gets the dark blue. So again, to start the, that um, orange petals on the larger flower, um, you're just gonna make a mix of cadmium red and yellow and then add some white to that as you get out towards the tip and you can make your your some of the petals vary a little bit by having a little bit more uh, stronger concentration of yellow just to make them look a little bit different this is such a cute design um, it went over very well in class and again i would consider this to be a beginner project For the small blue flower, use a mix of Prussian blue. This is an acrylic color. Again, um, gradually add the white to the blue. Once you get the entire petals mainly base coated, um, you're going to then use that lighter blue towards the tips of the petals. 
and you may need to add a couple of layers. Um, the white will help to make your blue a little bit more opaque and cover more. So um, you're just gonna make sure that you're covering all the petals and um, just kind of lightly shaping that, using the angle brush to shape your petals. Um, I went back in with the Prussian blue, um, pretty much a little bit more straight out of the tube. And from the center of the flower, um, base coat that center of the flower with the Prussian blue. And then use your angle brush to kind of pull out from the center over some of the petals and leave that um, stronger mix so that the petal, the flower, seems to be a little bit more inset with that deeper, darker color in the middle. And again, you may need to add a second coat. Now, to start on the circular doodle flower, which is so adorable, I think, um, you're gonna mix up a pale turquoise or a teal blue and base that on the outer circle of the circular doodle flower. You may need a couple coats. Um, you can see, if, if you did the drawing, there are little tiny circles over the top of this teal blue. And you're just gonna use a mix of yellow and white and rebuild your little circles up over the top of that inner circle. You may need a couple coats like I've stated before. Um, you'll just kind of have to judge as you're painting whether you need that or not. This is such a forgiving design that if you make a few little mistakes, do not worry about that because we're gonna be outlining all of these little doodle flowers with a pen. So the next layer in, you're gonna mix up a turquoise color or a teal color and you're gonna base that for the next little circle ring um, towards the center. That is a slightly more blue shade and you can mix that by adding a little bit more blue to the, to the turquoise color that you mixed for the outer ring on this little circular doodle flower. So you want there to be a little bit more change in color tone. So you'll just kind of have to mix a little bit and see what you come up with. The center of the flower is a peach color and you're gonna mix that by using some yellow, some white, and a tiny bit of orange. And you're gonna use that same shade uh, that you used in the center for the half circles around the perimeter of this circular doodle flower. This one is just so fun. Um, it's not your traditional little flower shape, but I think it's so cute. These little flowers, these little doodle flowers on this um, doodle valentine art sort of remind me of the little flowers that you may see on um, Mexican um, you know embroidery that's kind of what they remind me of so they should be cute and fun and colorful Base your large leaves using a mixture of yellow and blue. This should give you a nice sort of um, darker bright green. Um, you could even add just a little tiny amount of burnt sienna to this blue um, to get some nice coverage, especially for where the little leaf may be tucked under one of the flowers. But this is a great mix uh, to use um, to do your large leaves with and you'll see we this is the first layer of many um, applications uh, that we're going to add over these larger leaves. The small leaves, uh, you'll want to paint a few of the small leaves using a green mix that you used for the large leaves but you're going to add more yellow and a small amount of white to the mix. Paint about five of the small leaves with this mix. The small leaves are painted using three different mixes. The first one that you see me using here, which is a little bit more of a brighter green. And then the next mix that you're going to use, uh, you're going to add a little bit more blue to the green. 
and that will give you an even darker green a little bit more of like a an emerald sort of green that tinges more um, on the blue side like a dark turquoise color and you're going to add that to about four of the leaves and then you're going to mix up a yellow a burnt sienna and a blue for an olive color and you're going to use that color to fill in the remainder of your leaves you can see i've got about uh, about five small leaves on the cluster that is in the upper left hand corner with one large leaf and then the group of three flowers has um, two larger leaves and about about ten smaller leaves so you want that cluster of flowers that are on the right hand side to sort of come up and around the um, heart and you can see all of my leaves sort of follow the curves of the heart and that's kind of how you get sort of a design that is a little bit curved you just follow the curves on the heart and then for the outline on the heart i just used a really watery mix of red and i used a really fine liner brush that will help you to get into all the little nooks and crannies around the flowers and around the leaves so you want that heart to be to look like it's kind of behind the flowers and the flowers are laying on top of the heart so just go ahead and use that nice watery mix of red and for the vines you're just going to do the same thing you're going to use that little liner brush and you're going to use any watery mix of green that you have um, it's fine you don't have to be this is just a fun little design it doesn't have to be perfect and the last few little layers that i added over these little um, colorful flowers <clears throat> the little doodle flowers this is where the doodle comes in um, i have a pack of posca markers and if you've never played with these these are so much fun to play with um, my husband got me a set um, for christmas and i wanted to um, just sort of play around with them so I used um, a couple different shades of the um, uh, oranges to go over the orange petals, some pink and red to go over the red petals. I used um, a blue, what you're seeing me um, add now to these pink um, and orange flowers. Um, and it was just like little open flowers over the center of that flower and I used um, the pink also on the little tiny blue flower uh, just to kind of pop those petals out a little bit um, and I'm using right now um, I believe it's a it's a very small fine tip black uh, graphic um, marker so it's called um, it, it is a waterproof ink um, it is in black and it's a 0 0.3 size. I used that and I outlined the entire design, every little single bit of this design got outlined, all of the flowers, all of the leaves, the little circular flower, which was so cute, the little doodle flower has the most probably elements to it. Um, but each of the rings got outlined, all of the little circles got outlined, um, all of the little outer circles, um, there's a double row of them got outlined. The little blue flower, I used the marker to outline all of the petals, um, the red and um, yellow or orange flowers, those also, all of the petals got outlined with this little fine tip marker. It just helps to make the little doodle flowers pop off the page and sort of finish them off. This is where, when you're working on these flowers, they do not have to be perfectly painted. Um, and even if you color outside of your pencil lines, that's fine. They do not have to be perfect because this little fine tip marker hides a multitude of sins. 
Um, not only does it help to define the edges of your flowers and petals, it also kind of covers up where maybe you colored outside of your pencil lines a little bit. This is such a fun technique. Um, this would be fun to do with your children. If you have children, um, you're looking for an easy art project to do with them. Um, it's just really fun. I'd love to see um, uh, some of the little different designs. If you try this, if you come up with something different, send me a picture, um, leave me a comment in the comment section. I'd love to see and hear um, if you tried this and if you enjoyed it. So each of the leaves get outlined as well. And if you go to my Pinterest page, um, under tutorials, I believe, is the folder. You can find the drawings, the completed drawing with the heart and all of the flower elements laid over the top. You can also find um, on there, I did a step-by-step -step how to on how to draw the doodle flowers and how to draw all the leaves. So you can look at those pictures and see everything up close. Um, and really it should be fairly simple for you to print that out and um, look at the design and add it to paper and paint your own. All of the um, little outlines for the leaves, um, I went around um, some of the leaves. They all got an, an, out, an exterior outline of the leaves, but I also went in some of the leaves and added kind of vein lines with the black marker. Um, just to kind of finish them off a little bit. Um, I also used the, um, the I have the um, Posca markers that I went around and added some other colors also to the leaves. Um, I went back in with now like a blue um, Posca marker to the small flower and brought, um, you know, some of the p lighter blue from the outside in. And I also went around and added tiny little dots in the center of the blue flower so it would kind of break up all that deep dark color in the center and just add another element um, and then you can see i'm blending that out with some of the pink again these cut the, the markers blend beautifully you can blend almost like you're painting with them you can blend over the top of another color and uh, they're so fun to try and work with um, so I hope you do give those a try also. Um, and the last little things that were added to the flowers, um, I'm just continuing to blend. Um, I use a white Posca marker and um, I did go around and kind of, um, invariably you're gonna get smudges on your paper. No matter how careful you are, you're going to end up with smudges on your paper. Um, I use the white Posca marker to kind of touch up those smudges on the paper. Um, if you're using black paper, you could use a black marker um, to clean up any little dings or drips or little anything you don't want showing on your final design. You can just use you know that color of paper and touch up. The last thing was the um, white Posca marker. I used it in the center of the circular flower. Um, I used a yellow one to kind of brighten up some of those dots that sort of, I wanted them to be a little bit brighter. And the white Posca marker I used for also the center over the little blue flower. I used um, the white Posca marker for a little, just tiny little dots just touch directly over the top of your um, center of your red and orange flowers. You can just use that white Posca marker to add what looks like little stamens or filaments in the middle of your flowers. It just really adds another layer and another element to your flowers. I also used um, a, the pink marker um, and kind of went around the heart to widen that, um, the red heart, I felt like was just too little bit too simple for the busyness and the cuteness of the flower. So I used the Posca markers in pink, a couple different shades of pink, like a more of a purpley pink and just a basic pink and widened the um, heart just to add another element to the heart. Um, and 
it's fun. It's almost, um, when you're playing with these markers, it's almost a little bit too much. Like, where do you stop? Um, so you kind of have to have a little bit of restraint and stop yourself. Um, I use the Posca markers over the leaves too to add just a different element and more texture. And if you go um, and print those printouts out on the leaves, um, you'll be able to see how I added where to add sort of those lines in the leaves just to give another layer and another colorful element uh, to your leaves. You want all of these um, elements in this doodle valentine art, you want all of those elements to look fun and playful and colorful and to have their own personality. So that's where you can use the Posca markers in different shades and just keep adding and the great thing about them, if you add a color over your leaves or over your petals and you don't love it, you can take another marker and go over the top and blend that out and soften it um, or completely cover it up. It's up to you. I hope you give this a try. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, um, I hope you give me a like and a follow and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.